Hello everyone and welcome once again to MJ's Maths and Stats. That's MJ Magic Studio to you. I am your host, your host, and as usual in the ghost mode, Mohit Jain. Uh, again, uh, we are uh, on with our second part on the different remainder theorem part two, where we would be doing Chinese remainder theorem. So without uh, wasting any further time, let's start now quickly straight away to Chinese remainder theorem. On this note, that you must have subscribed to the channel and you must have gone through. Uh, Basic SCF LCM session also, which is actually not required here. Just uh, in case we would be requiring it, and let's start now. Chinese remainder theorem. Where to use? Suppose the question is find the smallest number which, when divided by five, seven, or eight, leaves remainder one in all cases. We know the drill for this. Hopefully, you have gone through SCF LCM. And what is the drill? Just find the LCM of the divisors and add the common remainder to it. So five into seven is thirty-five. Seventeen to four two eighty. Thirty-five into eight is two eighty. So if the question is find the smallest number which, when divided by five, seven, eight, will leave remainder one in all case, our answer would be simply two eighty plus one. That is two eighty one. Or if the question is find the smallest number which, when divided by five, seven, or eight, leaves remainder three, five, or six respectively. So here we see that difference between the divisor and the remainder is two. Here is two. Here is two. In this case, we see that residue is same. Again, courtesy to SCF LCM video that is link is there in the description. Go through it before touching these questions. So if the smallest number divided by five seven eight is leaving remainder three five six, where residue is same, we say that number is LCM of the divisors. And deduct the residue, which is the common residue in this case. In this case, number would be two eighty minus two. That is two seventy eight. You can check when two seventy eight is divided by five. Remainder is three by seven. Remainder is five. Blah blah blah. But here question is different. Here when uh, number is divided by five, seven, or eight, it leaves remainder three, one, and six respectively. Here remainders are not same. That means we can't use this format. Here, five minus three is two, seven minus one is six, and eight minus six is two. That means residue is also not same. We cannot use this. In these kind of question, we use Chinese remainder theorem, and it is a process to learn. We'll try to explain this process step by step. Have a look and then practice. First prerequisites to use Chinese remainder theorem (CRT): these divisors should be co-prime, and here we can see that these are co-prime. Then only the question would be developed and given to us. Five, seven, eight. Now, how to proceed? We have divisors five, seven, eight. And when this number is divided by these divisor, our remainders are three, one, six. Clear. First, we need to find the value of m. M is multiplication of all the divisors. Since they are co-primes, we need to multiply them. There is nothing common between these. Five into seven into eight. That will be two eighty. This is step one. Step one: Find the value of m. That is five into seven into eight. That is product of all the divisors. Now, next step is we will find m dash. M dash is m divided by d. So the first one would be two eighty by five. That is fifty six. For second one, two eighty by seven. That is forty. And then two eighty by eight, that is thirty five. Next, we need to find 
the multiplicative inverse now what it is and how to find it in it in a very simple way let me explain this to you multiplicative inverse for first 56 56 need to be multiplied by any number x1 such that when divided by 5 should leave remainder 1 we need to identify x1 such that when 56 is multiplied by x1 and then the entire number is divided by 5 it should leave remainder 1 that is what we mean by multiplicative inverse now if i put x1 equals to 1 56 into 1 would be 56 and 56 when divided by 5 leave remainder 1 that means value of x1 is 1 similarly we are trying to identify 40 into x2 which when divided by 7 will leave remainder 1 40 when divided by 7 leave remainder uh, how much uh, 5 so 40 80 120 120 12 50 49 bingo it will leave remainder 1 if x2 is equals to 3 120 when divided by 7 will leave remainder 1 similarly 35 x3 35 into x3 when divided by 8 should leave remainder 1 35 32 is leaving 3 3 3 3 9 3 3 3 9 that means if i multiply by 3 35 by 8 is remainder 3 if i multiply 3 times 3 into 3 will be 9 that will leave remainder 1 bingo value of x3 would be 3 so next step is to find multiplicative inverse that would be 1 3 3 and done we need to find the value of r into m dash into i dash 3 into 56 into 1 that is 168 then 1 into 40 into 3 120 6 into 35 into 3 210 630 we just need to find the total of this 8 1 and 9 okay now what is the required number required number is remainder when this 918 is divided by m that is 280 just now divide 918 by 280 how many times 1 560 3 times 0 4 2 6 8 8 6 7 remainder is 78 the required number which we are looking out for is 7 8 78 let's check when 78 is divided by 5 75 remainder is 3 when 78 is divided by 7 77 remainder is 1 when 78 is divided by 8 72 remainder is 6 it is just a process which we will revise it once again with another question but go through the session again and see the steps which we need to follow if we can identify the steps and follow it properly it is a very small short process to solve these kind of questions okay solution time and first thing first all the divisors are co-prime yes bingo they are co-prime we need the value of m 3 into 4 12 into 5 60 into 7 420 done and now step number two our table divisors are 3 4 5 7 remainders are 1 2 2 5 we need m dash that is m divided by d 420 by 3 let me write it down everything that would be 140 420 by 4 
that would be 105 420 by 5 should be 84 and 420 by 7 should be 60 now we need i dash that is multiplicative inverse that means 140 into x1 when divided by 3 should leave remainder 1 okay 140 120 20 21 that is 2 you are leaving with 2 so 2 into 2 2 plus 2 is 4 4 divided by 3 is 1 bingo x1 should be equals to 2 it will leave remainder 1 4 280 yes then 105 x2 when divided by 4 should leave remainder 1 8 24 leaving remainder 1 1 1 1 4 times we can go it's simply leaving remainder 1 if x1 is equals to 1 x2 is equals to 1 sorry now 84 x3 when divided by 5 should leave remainder 1 it is leaving remainder minus 1 so i will go 4 times it will leave remainder minus 4 x3 will be 4 60 x4 when divided by 7 should leave remainder 1 60 is 56 leaving remainder 4 4 plus 4 is 8 divided by 7 will give remainder 1 so value of x4 is 2 you can check bingo it's over now so we have these value 2 1 4 2 and now we need to multiply r into m dash into i dash 1 into 140 140 into 2 is 280 2 into 105 210 into 1 is 210 2 into 84 168 168 into 4 will be 672 and 5 60 300 into 2 is 600 let's add them up 2 8 8 16 1 13 and 4 17 so our number we'll get if we divide 17 62 by m that is 420 it will go four times 80 and 16 so we are getting 82 as the remainder our required number is 82 just keep on practicing to find the multiplicative inverse we in less than one minute we can solve these kind of questions so try these two questions and do give answers in the comment box i'll try to give the answers in the description below but before looking out for the answers please try this and it won't take much time it's just the practice which we need to do chinese remainder theorem is very simple so on this hope that you would subscribe to the channel if you like it and do comment it also i'm mojen uh, signing off from mj's Maths and stats that's mj magic studio to you i'll see you soon thank you everyone